In my last video, I added another row of batteries here in uh, parallel. So now you can see we got a three parallel battery pack. And so we got one, two, three, four in series, which means we have five connection points. And so that's what we're going to add wires to in this video so that my uh, D6 Elite, this uh, screen, if you buy one of these, I wiped it off with my shirt and that was enough to scratch it. So the screen scratch is easy, but it's Hobbymate uh, D6 Elite. And uh, other than it being a little less scratch proof than stuff I'm used to, I really like this unit. I like it a lot. And so it's for drone batteries and stuff, but it will work as long as we limit current to uh, these batteries, which you can do with that. So in any case, it has balancing wires there up to, it says two to uh, eight right there. And uh, let's see if we can get that in focus. There we go, two to eight series batteries. So that just will depend on how many pins it takes. So you can see there's five pins there and uh, you plug this with uh, black to uh, the ground right there and however many pins it needs is however many pins it needs. So in any case we have uh, five wires as I said before since these are four series there's five connection points. So we got negative on that side that's where we'll put the black wire. The wire next to it we'll put here that's where this uh, parallel batteries and these parallel batteries come together and then go, the current will go through that battery to this point here and then so from these batteries to these batteries and uh, so on that way if you want to follow the path negative to positive so now I already attached the uh, black and the red wire and the uh, middle wire here is yellow this is the uh, middle point of the uh, battery there and so I already loosened this uh, nut here and I did the same thing there and I have a little screwdriver to uh, pry it up a little bit so that I can get the uh, wire under there there we go got a little space and I'm just gonna slide it in without messing up the threads if I can this is tin though so there we go and uh, I should have loosened that a little more. There you go. That's just fine. And we will uh, tighten it down. So this is all one node. It doesn't matter where I put it along this area. As you can see, it's electrically connected. And now we will uh, flip it over. And between black and yellow, we have this white jumper there. So I will uh, screw it down on, uh, at uh, that node there. And then between the uh, red wire and the yellow wire, I have this blue wire, which I will screw down there. And now on this side, I loosened uh, both of them, and that should make it easier. And if you use the screwdriver, it's uh, metal, do not let it make a connection across there. That will short circuit it. So you got to be careful that uh, you don't put the uh, screwdriver, if you use a screwdriver, anything metallic to uh, separate them. But uh, there we go, that's uh, pretty simple and uh, straightforward. I'll just tighten these down. And of course, for a permanent connection, I would have crimped on connectors to this. This is just kind of a quick uh, temporary thing. I'm gonna take these off. But uh, as you can see here, for the, uh, the power ones, because these are not for powering it, so I have the uh, connector there and that will plug into there I mean to uh, charge it so this will actually be what charges it and also I think there's a discharge option I think it discharges there too these mostly just look at the voltage and they can provide a little bit of current to uh, balance as needed so we'll look at that in another video but uh, I would uh, crimp on connectors like these if they were going to be a more permanent option and uh, there you can see the plug there. I just bought a bunch of these plugs and you solder wire on, there's like a little cup. It's not the most beautiful job that I did. So I'll let you look at other videos where people did better. And uh, these are crimps. You just uh, put them around the wire and then crimp it down. 
it's good to tin the wires first, put a little solder on them because they're stranded. Stranded bends better and they're a whole bunch of individual wires. They all fly in different directions if you don't uh, tin them together and hold them together. So, in any case, that is it for the balancing wire. And so, what we can do is plug that into the uh, charger. So now, we plug those wires into the balance part. We're not going to power it. These are called XT60 connectors. You have to plug one in to power it. And I'm using my bench power supply to provide the power. I have it set to 16 volts. Uh, it says up here, it says uh, DC 7 to 30 volt input. And so if we use the other plug, we can charge this. But for now, we can, I have the uh, power supply set to 16 volts. We can zoom in, you can see the wires. So the black wire just goes to the negative side and however many wires you got, it uh, will take measurements from there. So we will see that zoom in, in and let's turn this to measurer I think that's showing up good and then we will go to battery and so really there's an exit to go back and then you push the dial to select whatever it is at and so we will turn this to battery so there's only uh, a couple buttons and uh, there you go we press that so now we're looking at voltage and uh, state of charge, it says 12%. When we charge all of these to 4.2 volts, it will say 100%. But there you can see the individual voltages. So there's four uh, series connections. So each one of the parallel batteries in that series connection, so they have their uh, positive and their negative terminals connected directly to each other. Each one in that area has 3.72 volts. That one has 3.68 volts. That has 3.69. And that one has 3.67. So that's what this is doing. It is monitoring these, these wires here. They're not really intended for charging and discharging the batteries. But while you have the main plug, the uh, main wires there, charging them, these will allow a little bit of current to flow out of uh, one battery and into the other or uh, provides the current however it does it to balance their voltages so batteries that are in series do not charge and discharge perfectly evenly there's a number of factors in play with that this takes away all that worry you set the uh, voltage that you want and you also set the current we'll look at that in different videos plus I did those videos in the past and this does the rest it makes sure they stay balanced so it's a really nice unit and uh, that's all I'm going to cover for this video mostly the balancing wires they're important they're a little confusing at first but as you can see now it's really easy you have a battery between the black wire and the white wire that I'm guessing is number one and then you have a battery actually three parallel batteries between the white and the yellow I'm guessing that's number two and so on and when they're in parallel they are electrically connected on both ends as you can see there we have that and then uh, down here they're all connected so they're going to hold the same voltage across the three of them as long as something doesn't come loose and so the one that can provide the most power because they're not always equal will provide a little bit or whatever has a little more storage because they're not perfectly equal but whatever has the most storage will provide a little bit more current and uh, so they just hold their voltages steady while they are in parallel but in series you don't have that benefit so these three batteries are going to pass the same current as these three batteries so if these three batteries happen to have more capacity they can store more voltage or uh, more uh, current to be used then their voltage is going to drop slower than the ones with less capacity they'll become uneven and this unit it uh, charges them or discharges them as needed so that they stay balanced independently but the main part of the power comes from here and it stops providing power once in a while to uh, help balance it so that's all stuff 
you'll look at uh, if you buy this unit and test it out plus I made earlier videos so uh, thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video